Hey guys, Too Legit City here, and today we're going to be talking about the new research type that requires you to be in a rocket. That research is going to be called the Data Analysis Research, and we're going to be going over the basics of this, how to get it started, what you need to do, the buildings required, and the resources required. Now to get it started, this is space research, which means you need to have a rocket ready. Typically, this is something you could easily get with a carbon rocket. I typically just pump up the carbon CO2 from my base from the dupes breathing out, stockpile that in a reservoir, and then have that funnel out into here. That's going to funnel into your carbon dioxide engine, as this is one of the starter engines you guys have. And because all the duplicates always breathe out carbon dioxide, this is a resource that you would have on any asteroid of course i added in the solar panel module you guys don't have to do so but it's up to you and from there we're going to look inside of the rocket my rocket right here with brainless society has your rocket control station i have a canister emptier here to release oxygen into the environment as you can see there's a lot of o2 and i do send my duplicates with the atmos suits on now, the resource you need for this is going to be plastic. I have about a storage bin with a slider set down to 200 or 2 tons or 2,000 kilograms. And that's filled up with plastic every time. It's not a lot of plastic for the orbital data collection lab, as you need about, I believe it's 5 kilograms per data bank that you would make. And for the most part, you need this building in space as when you're grounded like we are, it's not able to function. So we're going to go into our rocket and usually you're going to have to have it set on to crew so that your rocket pilot slash researcher, it also requires you to have the skill. Data analysis research, of course. But once you guys have all that, your duplicate is ready to be a pilot, to uh, drive the rocket, and he has the data analysis skill to do the orbital lab, all you're going to have to do is launch. Now, we're not going to launch far. We're just going to launch right outside so that we can just get the research started and then launch. Now, while it launches, you can see Brainless right here. Now that he's in space, he's going to work on the Orbital Research Lab. And the speed of which you complete this is dependent on your research skill. And what you get in response is a data lab or a data bank. I'm sorry. You need this data bank to research your research text that you guys choose. And in order to use the data banks, what you guys are going to need is the virtual planetarium you can see right here this is already asking for data banks this is where you actually use the data banks that you guys find in order to make the research progress now that's the normal way that you would normally research the data analysis research by getting the data banks on the rocket from the orbital research lab but there's other ways to get data banks as well when you guys find some of the random buildings in the wild and you guys inspect it there's a chance for it to drop a data bank as well as well as analyzing your geysers and vents if you guys actually complete the analysis it's going to drop a data bank as well now these alternative methods aren't replenishable it's a one-time thing so you guys do need to build the rocket to get your long-term data banks in order to get the research now of course this does require plastic and the rocket tree tech but for the most part it's very straightforward how you get this done i actually usually send a duplicate out and we have them out for about a cycle and after that cycle ends, we'll actually manually launch the rocket back. And you could do so by going into your rocket overlay like this. Hit the letter Z to bring up your star map. Click on your rocket and then hit the destination. Change that into your planet. This forces the rocket to land back. And he's going to land back over here. And he'll be back into the colony. And with that, that's going to be how you're going to be able to get the data banks for the data analysis research. Of course, that is the basics for this. If you guys have any questions about it, leave a comment down below. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.